Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Divine Debut. Thank you for being here. These are your readings for August the 1st till the 15th. Hope you all made it really easily through the eclipse, the uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Aquarius, which was massive. Right? We're very much in eclipse energy still. A lot of things are changing for a lot of people. Do know that we're still going through changes, so um, we're sifting through difficult energy still. Um, now the full moon is a culmination, things are coming to light, and um, that energy will still be around for a while. Okay, I'm doing the divine spread today, and um, as you all know, for the people who have been following me, I am pulling a major arcana as the divine message. Right, this is the karma dharma lesson that I will be taking with these larger cards, and then I'm using, of course, the um, the usual divine spread, which I, you know, I will take one card for the middle of the reading the lesson, the Karma Dharma, and then around I will place the rest of the cards. I will have in the description below, in the description box below, there will be the, the cards that I'm using. Now, I'm doing a fair few cards, but not to make these readings too long. You know that the continuation will be on Vimeo, where I'll be taking some Sabilas, like I usually do, and of course extra cards from the tarot deck and also the romance angels um, in relation to love because this is a love and general reading okay I do appreciate all of you that have supported my channel for those of you that are interested in the continuation um, the link will be in the description box below for the Vimeo extended readings um, I want to thank all of you that have been um, supporting my channel, that have been there, those of you that are on Facebook. As I said, there will be a competition um, that will be um, announced on Facebook uh, roughly mid-month of August. Um, so I will be doing, I will be choosing a lucky winner to receive and a half hour reading from me so for those of you that are not um, in my Facebook group uh, do not forget to go and visit me on Facebook like my page and then you'll be able to be in the competition all right uh, I think that's enough in relation to announcements uh, I'd like to say also happy birthday to uh, Leo's the sun is in Leo at the moment. Happy birthday to all of you that have got your solar return at the moment. You are shining. It is your time to shine. And uh, let's see what the first part of August is going to show everyone. Okay, thanks so much for your patience for these readings. One more thing before I go on to the readings. Uh, for the Vimeo extended readings, please give a couple of days extra um, for me to upload them there because it does take a while to upload. So thank you all and let's go on to the readings. Hello Gemini, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Hope that you're all well. This is your August 1st till the 15th, 2018 Love and General Bread and let's see what the karma and dharma position is showing for you. What are you going through at the moment after that eclipse? What's happening for you, dear Gemini? Okay. Okay, we've got the strength card, which is the the sign of Leo. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you may be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. Okay, so you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be wise. 
and there's going to have to be trust for you to move into whatever you are moving into relationship romantic or work any relationships in your life Leo we are in the time of Leo at the moment the Sun is in Leo Wow okay so two cards dropped out I just want to show you before I cut the the cards okay we've got the ten of swords and we've got the king of swords as well so some of you have been stabbed in the back by an air sign so Gemini Aquarius or Libra Sun Moon or rising okay some of you may be may have started uh, may have filed for divorce okay after there's been a deception now you know that these readings can go either way okay the eight of Pentacles keep working at it what you're working on be patient but be wise that's the advice here some of you this was at work this took place at work maybe you are working with someone who is the king of swords let's say someone who is very cold let's cut the cards dear Gemini and the king of swords could be your energy where you are cutting someone out of your life because you feel as though you've come to the end of the road okay in the root position we've got the hanged man so this is the distant past right in the hidden position we've got the five of swords so there is some sort of battle that you don't know of someone is torn someone is ready to fight in the recent past we have the knight of pentacles so that could be Virgo Taurus or Capricorn in the present position you have the king of cups Cancer Scorpio Pisces your goal and your aim is the temperance card again a card of patience healing equilibrium trying to find your balance in the action and the advice position is nine of swords now the outcome card is the card of Taurus this is the Hierophant and the position of the divine is the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups is the divine bringing you a cup bringing you a knight someone who is not able to move freely at the moment look at the water holding that horse back he's having a lot of trouble moving through all this water too many emotions with this knight so water sign Pisces Cancer or Scorpio okay dear Gemini so what you're going through right now is you know it's a number eight it's got anything to do with Leo what is Leo it's true love it's creativity children creative projects anything that you've given birth to literally or metaphorically it's also um, taking a gamble taking a gamble with whatever you love it can speak of gambling lucky games taking a risk right it's also the um, the house of true love so if you are looking for true love then some of you may be dealing with Leo Sun Moon or rising partner we've also got Sagittarius here Sagittarius Sun Moon or rising again partner but more than likely and that could be that could also be in your chart let's say any of these signs that I mentioned could be in your chart we've also got Taurus now it can be in yours or in your partners does not matter really Sagittarian card may speak of someone at a distance a foreign place foreign person someone who's from a different culture to you and the temperance card says that you need to be tempered we're talking about patience 
with both these cards. We've also got the Hanged Man, which says that there is a sacrifice that you are making. You are trying to receive the information, right, from the Divine. Now this is Piscean energy, okay? Pisces is where Neptune is. That's the Divine Love. It's also wearing rose-colored glasses, not seeing clearly. So there's, you've had a sense of the sacrifice or trying to change your perspective or just waiting, right? Waiting is really killing you. Dear Gemini, you are not a type of person to wait. Okay, air signs don't have a lot of patience. So I could see that you're drawing up all the patience that you have, all the strength to get through what you're going through right now. Now, in the hidden position, the Five of Swords, so battling it out, speaking your truth, fighting till, till you win, okay? It looks as though you've got competition, but look at those two people turning their back and walking away, leaving you. It looks like someone is walking away and leaving you on your own. So... Could it be this air sign that is conflicted or you are conflicted? Could be another air sign like Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Remember how that King of Swords fell out. Some of you may be dealing with, with two people. With two people, with the signs that I've already mentioned. Because the two people are right there. There's three in the card as you can see. So it does remind me of the Theory of Swords. Now in the, in the past, in the recent past, there's been slow and steady, maybe not even moving forward. Try, you're trying to be grounded, you're trying to move forward, but it doesn't look as though, it looks as though you're lacking in strength, dear Gemini. And why do I say that is because I feel as though with your energy here you are going through a lot of sleepless nights not knowing which which path to take let's say this is the action and the advice the advice is that you need to get out of this get out of this energy stop um, using your head to the point that you're getting headaches really now you're your ruler Mercury is in retrograde. It's not the right time to make a decision at the moment. It's time to be patient. We always redo, rework things while Mercury is in retrograde. So there is a strong sense of stagnation, of course. Not being able to move forward. We have so many retrograde planets. It's not funny. Now the Sun is in Leo at the moment right? The sun is in Leo, so Leo is all about clarity, being up on stage. It's all about loving and nurturing yourself before you can do that for others. I think it's a time, dear Gemini, to put yourself first. Saying that, sorry, the computer just stopped. Um, there is a sense of a, a great sacrifice. It's time to put yourself first, dear Gemini. Try a time to love and nurture yourself first, as with the energy of Leo. Now, in the present situation, we've got a King of Cups here. So, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Piscean energy, more than likely, we've got the card of Pisces here. Now, this is the King of Cups, someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. He is showing up as a king. He looks quite in... in um, in alignment with his emotions right at the moment but with the knight of cups here this is the divine position this is holding like the divine is holding this knight back for some reason okay this offer is not coming in from the divine from a water sign as of yet we've got three cards of patience here which says that it's not exactly the right time right now. Now the result position, the outcome position is the Hierophant. Is this 
you growing spiritually. Now, with the card of Sagittarius being at the top of your reading, right? This is Sagittarian is the ninth house. It's our higher self. It's our spiritual self. It's what we believe in. It's religion. Um, it's standing in our truth. But yeah, you need to be patient. Now, for those of you that are in committed partnerships and relationships, maybe you are feeling boxed in. Maybe um, there is a religious... I feel as though um, you have... Um, you have, what's the word I'm looking for? Like curveballs are being thrown at you. It's as though you, you've been put to the test. You're being put to a test, dear Gemini. And what could the test be? Anything to do with what the Hierophant means for you. What does the Hierophant mean for you? That's the question here. It is a number five, which is a number of conflict. You've got another five here. Two fives equal a ten. Okay, ten breaks down to a one. Are you fighting against what you believe? Are you fighting against a committed partnership or relationship? Some of you may not be wanting to be tied down. And that's why you are torn. Or... Are you in a triangle situation where you're in a committed partnership or relationship and you've got someone else that's entered your life, someone that is showing you a lot of emotional qualities, whereas if you are dealing, let's say, with the King of Swords that fell out before, they are like this for you, like they've got you, you know, chasing your tail. You're running around in circles not knowing what to do. As I said, the advice is to get out of this mental, mental disability here and go with your emotions more. Look into your heart. What does your heart tell you? So this is like... The energy of the lovers, right? Head over heart decision. So you're fighting your thoughts with your heart. Your heart and your thoughts are fighting. But you do need to go for what you believe in. What do you believe in, Gemini? This is the card of Taurus. Taurus is where Uranus is. Uranus is breaking down what is not of value to us. Uranus is the um, the ruler of Aquarius. Aquarius is where the eclipses took place. It's a very hard place for Aquarian people at the moment, especially if there any planets of theirs have been, you know, on the eclipse. Um, For you, logically, the eclipse has taken place in your 8th house, which is shared resources, right? It's the house of Scorpio. Scorpio is death and transformation, um, being at a level of sharing everything with your partner, right? It's also the house of sex. It's also very deep, mystical and hidden. That's where Jupiter is moving direct, right? bringing in maybe legal issues or abundance and extravagance. Uh, Jupiter is the benefic, right? It expands on everything that it touches on. Okay, so we've got an offer that's coming in from a water sign, an offer of love or companionship or partnership or anything like that. An offer is coming in from another water sign for you, but it's not happening yet. Now, the Temperance card is a card of balance. I feel as though you are trying to balance yourself out. There is a strong sense of balance here, so just know that... Where am I at? One moment, please.
uh, Venus is in Virgo at the moment and um, Venus will be moving into the house of Libra which is the house of partnership and relationships on any level. Um, Venus will bring beautiful qualities, beautiful things into our partnership, our relationship, our partnership house, anything romantic or partnership, right? And uh, what is Libra? Libra is all about balance, okay? So um, also, many of you are having very sleepless nights and you're worried about conflict big time. Very worried about conflict. And you feel as though you've got a beast. You're dealing with a beast, someone who is very strong. But do know that you can outsmart this beast. Your mental uh, abilities are just amazing, but it's not the right time right now. Right now with your Lord, your ruler being retrograde, it is time to look over the details, go over things before you can start moving forward. So you've got two nights in your reading. You've got a an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and you've got another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. So there may be two offers that are coming in. The uh, Knight of Pentacles is in the past, and the Knight of Cups is in the position of the Divine. So this is something more, more um, on your path. This is something more divine, something that's, you know, just like with Neptune, it's the higher octave of Venus. This is the divine love. This is a divine love, dear Gemini. Okay, thank you so much for being here. For those of you that want to see the extended reading, um, please head on over to Vimeo. For those of you that... Um, will not i will be back around the 15th of august for your august mid-month readings now all the details are in the description box below uh for those of you that are interested in vimeo or whatever or in what cards i'm using thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing sending you my blessings do keep well dear gemini bye for now